What's up, people? What's up, my KJ family? Welcome back to the channel. You kicking it with KJ, and we got to talk about something. What's up with the Miami Heat? What's up with them? Let's talk about it. You know, now, first of all, I'm a Laker fan, but LeBron is the opposite thing, so hey, I got to jump on the next thing. Boy, if you don't. We're going to talk about the Celtics. And the Heat, you feel? Where did Jimmy Butler go? Where had the Heat went? I, I don't know. <laughs> now the Heat ran up three games on the set. That bam, bam, bam. Jason Taylor. <laughs> Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown and the rest of the clique. No, no answer for these guys, man. It's like you know, we've been playing good ball most of the season, and we got here. Well, in my opinion, they're kind of on and off, never on at the same time with the Celtics. But they made it thus far. Then you get to the Heat and it's like, man, they shut the, he just shut the lights out for three games. And it's like, okay, if it's in the sweet Boston, right? Boston finna get swept. Trash! Gonna be a, you know, Jason Tatum shoe drop. Good year, good year, but everything's coming to an abrupt end. Trash! And his name is Jimmy Butler. Now, fast forward, the series is tied 3-3. Three three. Trash! So I don't know if Jimmy Butler and the Heat were tired and needed a break. <laughs> uh, you know, does the league need a game seven at this point since LeBron has had to make an early exit, since Steph Curry had to make an early exit? <laughs> I don't know, man. I want y'all to get in the comments and tell me. Now, Coach Spo has said be ready for the next game. But guys, how many next games are there? We're down to this win or go home game, game seven. You know the hype is gonna be all up in arms. We're gonna be in the garden for game seven. And I, I, don't, know, I don't know if the Heat can pull this off because look, it's a real swing of momentum here. You guys don't won three games and they're going home. They can close you out at home. So you got the crowd, you got the home crowd, you at the house. I mean, everything is the perfect storm for a win. You got to really be on your game to go in there and upset them at their house at game seven. You know, I don't know nobody that's real good at that. Nobody but LeBron, you feel me? But hey, that's another story. Um, I just want you guys to jump in the comments, man. And let me know how you feel about this series. And who do you think would be a great matchup for the Denver Nuggets. Cause I'm telling you, that boy Yoke is going. He ain't playing. He ain't he jumping two inches off the ground, but he ain't missing no shots. And he can pass without his eyes. He don't even need his eyes to make passes. He's setting everybody up. Denver Nuggets got a lot of depth. So who do you see even going toe to toe with Denver? You know, no matter who wins this series and, and goes to play Denver, do you think they'll sweep the Nuggets or the Celtics? I don't see nobody beating them four games. I just don't see nobody beating them in Nuggets four games. Unless it's something like an injury and somebody went out. Even when Jokic went out with four fouls against the Lakers, the next man up. So the plan, you had Pope, you had Bruce, you had Jamal Murray still balling. Uh, it's one other guy. You had Michael Porter Jr. stepped up. I mean, one night he was like, no mistakes. Points, rebounds, everything, assists, no mistakes. So he had like a perfect game. So, I mean, the Nuggets are really putting their stamp on the game this year. And it ain't much, it ain't much anybody can do about it, I don't think. So, y'all, just jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me who do you believe is going to win this game seven. Are you Team Celtics or Team Miami Heat? Are you like me? Team Lakers at the house, whichever one. And who do you think is going to beat the Denver Nuggets if they can beat the Denver Nuggets? So just make sure you jump in the comments and let me know. All right, man. We'll get at you on the next one.